It's finally October and I am so ready for some cozy autumn vibes. I unfortunately live in Florida where it is permanently summer and still a million degrees outside and it will be a million degrees outside for a long time still, but I would like to pretend that it actually feels like fall and I also really, really wanna build some fall inspired things in The Sims. So this is officially the beginning of my fall era of Sims builds, so prepare yourself because I've got a lot of plans this month. And I don't know if you can tell, but we have a little guest who has decided to make an appearance today. This is Shrimpy's first official cat cam on my YouTube channel. No, Shrimp, please, please, no, no, no. Uh, I started recording in hopes that he would stay and we could have a cat cam for the video, but he left me. You are so cute and I love you so much, but I really wish you would have kept sleeping in the chair. It would have been so good. You are not going to believe when I show you what the other cat is doing right now. If you missed it, I, I found some cats in a sewer and I adopted two black kittens recently. That one was shrimp. And this one is Sunny. She keeps sleeping in this little basket on my desk. I'm sorry to bother you. I know you are so cozy, but isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Thank you, kittens. You have really set the vibe for this video and I really appreciate it. But basically, I was thinking about trying to build some sort of cozy cottage house out here in Brindleton Bay because this has the exact vibes that I am going for. Ignore Bob just standing there. And then I think for this house, I want to have like a fire pit and a back deck and pretty wraparound porches and like leaves everywhere. This lot's kind of a weird shape, so it might end up being a side deck instead of a back deck, but that's okay. Do you think it's excessive to have a wraparound porch on a house that's this small? Because I can acknowledge that it might be a little bit excessive, but won't it be kind of cute? I just love a wraparound porch. It always looks so nice. Okay, this is kind of weird. Wait, 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 wait. What if we did something like this? If we do it like this, the back is kind of flat. I might also want to scoot this in a little bit because I think it's kind of too big right now. Oh, this house is going to be tiny. I didn't mean for it to be this small. I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I'm so sorry. This is really like quite the experiment that I'm, I'm partaking in right now. Maybe bigger is better. Oh, cause I can make that a little bit wider. Yeah, no, I should do it a little bit bigger. I like these parts being really pointy too. There's just something about it that's kind of cute to me. This took me like a million tries experimenting with the shape, but I think that this is what I want to do with it. I think that this is kind of a simple cottage shape. We've got a nice huge wraparound porch. This little section I was kind of thinking about trying to make into a fake sunroom area and the upstairs is actually big enough now that we could probably have a bedroom up here pretty easily. The number one thing that I wanted to do was have this sort of like goldeny colored roof on the house. But as far as wallpaper goes, I wasn't sure if I wanted to have like a stone thing or if I wanted to do maybe like the horse ranch wood paneling because like this lighter color wood is still cute. And it's maybe not as busy as the stones, so it might be a little bit better. Yeah, I guess I just really don't know what I'm going for yet. Is it super weird to have those shutters like hanging off the side of the building? Maybe a, a little bit weird. Oh no, I have no idea what kind of color scheme I'm going for with this. It looks a complete and total mess. I feel like I don't really love the stone from Seasons and the wood is kind of a different color than what I was trying to use, but I think it's nice to have some sort of stone. It's like all different colors of wood everywhere across all of it. Maybe just one window is better on the front like that. Okay, here's an idea. What if instead of getting mad at all of the different brown shades not matching, we just intentionally use a large number of different shades of brown? What if we just like commit and the whole place is like a million different shades of wood or something? No, 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 no. It looks like a bird or something. It's got a beak. <laughs> for that. Oh, why does this always happen to me? I thought it was cute. <laughs> It was going well. I have to get rid of the beak. We can't have the beak. I like how there's a combination of the wood and the black and the white because it gives us some more accent colors to work with. And actually, I think this is looking kind of good. Imagine once we go all out with the fall decor and we've got like a wreath on the door and like little pumpkins. It's gonna look good. It just, as per usual, sometimes things take a second to sort of come together <laughs> and we got it to come together. I am fully aware that this window is too big for these shutters, but that is okay with me. I just, I don't really care. It's the Sims, the shutters don't work anyway. I think I'm feeling good about this. The exterior is kind of coming together. I know that I'm gonna wanna have a side yard because we don't have a lot of room for a backyard. I'm not sure if the fence should go right up to the edge of the patio or if we should have the fence 
I don't know. This is the problem with lots like this. <laughs> Maybe the fence could go all the way around the backyard more. I don't know. I feel like because this area is so secluded, we can kind of pretend that the whole thing is our yard and have no fence. Oh, maybe that looks better with a different stone. Okay, we're on to something now. Oh, what if I got a pond? Does that have fall vibes to you or is it too green? Ah, I don't know, I don't like it. Oh wait, what about that one? Oh, that um, slightly more fall vibes, but I still don't like it. Oh, what if we use stone and we got a little stone fence around the yard? Oh, maybe I could get a little gazebo over here. We could put an outdoor dining table or something on that. I realize now <laughs> that this is kind of in a weird location and I don't know how to have them get onto it. Maybe we have no fence in the front section. And then if we had it be only one high, they could just walk up it with no stairs. Cause you can't have diagonal stairs. So that kind of throws us off, but that's cute. Oh, look at these beautiful fall trees. That's just what I wanted. Annoyingly, most of the landscaping is gonna look really gross. <laughs> the trees look pretty, but the plants and flowers are gonna look disgusting. What if we had a sort of intentionally enclosed little patio section? Cause we could maybe have a small outdoor kitchen and like a formal fire pit area. I guess I'll need to have the door right there. Ooh, before I do this, maybe I'll try and do the floor plan quickly because I don't really know what I'm going for with this. The staircase is going to be a serious limiting factor for us. There's not too many places that the stairs can go. And um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the downstairs is really small. So no matter where I put them, it's gonna be a little weird. Okay, here's a small idea. What if there's like a hallway that takes you to a bedroom down here? There's one downstairs bathroom. Oh, but then the upstairs is like so empty. What if I just got rid of this part? What if we just didn't use Use that part, okay? That part, nothing. I guess the upstairs could be just one big lofted bedroom. That was sort of the original plan back when the house was even smaller than this. If we really wanted, we could use this as part of like one big thing. What if I put laundry down there? So we use that weird nook for laundry and then this is the main bathroom <laughs> in this area? I don't know. Okay, maybe the kitchen can go along this back wall. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> okay, I don't, um, I don't know. Maybe I need to rethink this. We definitely need to have a fireplace. That's like a hundred percent the exact vibes that we're going for. I do love this one from Cottage Living. Okay, so if the living room is kind of central, that means we have one big long wall for this. I don't really like that. We could potentially put the second bathroom door downstairs or it could just be one big bedroom. We do have a big bathroom upstairs. It's like basically two bathrooms because it's so weird and long and skinny. Maybe we don't need to have a second bathroom downstairs. I would like to turn this into a little desk section. I wonder how far I can scoot this into the wall before it becomes a problem. Cause there's a relatively reasonable amount of walking space right here. So this could be a kid's bedroom. We have a desk nook right there. Oh, maybe we could get a fireplace in the bedroom. At least in this downstairs one, cause that kind of fits the cozy vibes. This door is so inconvenient. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What if they had no side door? Too bad, so sad, we don't get a side door anymore. Yeah, I think that this makes a little bit more sense. I feel, I feel better about this. I don't feel good, <laughs> but I feel better. These cabinets are kind of autumnal. I never really thought about them that way. They're like almost a little bit ugly too. The goal is cozy fall vibes. So if that means we have to do some ugly things just to have more orange options, then so be it. Oh, I hadn't even really considered this, but you know what? This new tile kind of has that color scheme. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. I started looking for some fall decor for this table because look at how cute that is with the acorns and mushrooms. And then I grabbed a pumpkin and it was just game over from there. This thing is so big, it makes the table not functional. Is that worth it? <laughs> is it worth it to have a thing so big the table's not functional? Because this is about vibes, not about function, right? There's even a little fall leaves doormat. We have to use that. I never really know if I like this or not. I always try to use this painting and then I don't like it, but maybe it could be cute above the stairs because it fills up a lot of wall space. I've never noticed this before, but I think that this bookshelf has pine cones in it. Do you see that? Like right there. So right now I'm looking for anything like orange, yellow, even brown maybe could work. I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want from the sofa. The sofa is going to be sort of a deciding factor in the vibes of the room and I'm not really loving any of the options. Oh, leather couch is an idea, but maybe one of the leather couches like from Horse Ranch because that's quite cozy seeming. We can get a matching armchair with a little bit more texture to it. Oh, that really helps. This brings in a lot more color too, because it was getting kind of bland. <laughs> I like that combo. Can they walk through here still? I think so. It makes me feel like this is ugly now, but there's not really a better color. Ooh, 
What if I use the blue? Maybe we just let it sit there for a second. That always helps me with these builds. Sometimes I have to just like stare at them for a minute and let it soak in before I decide if it's weird or not. It's a shame because I really liked that swatch, but I also feel like it it just didn't match anything. Oh my God, maybe the pretend sims that live here have a cat. I can decorate it for like a little black cat perhaps that could live here. These little cat sculptures have some serious autumnal vibes too. I think I would like to put these leaves all the way across the mantle. I just don't really know if it looks weird with them underneath the cats. I mean, it probably does, but maybe that's okay. I've never done that before with those leaves across the mantle. Oh, of course there's a candle variant. Wait. <laughs> Let me try that instead. I kind of forgot about that. The candle one is cuter. I probably don't want to light the cats on fire. So maybe I could try the cats somewhere else. <laughs> maybe we just do three. So it's not like so excessive. I guess the cats are going on the desk. Oh, maybe I can try cat on the shelf. Don't mind me. I have to fill in all the slots. <laughs> it's really weird, but we basically have to take some steps to make, oh wait, what if I hid that in the top of the wall? Cause then we can have some things hanging down from it. Oh, cute. Okay, sorry. Basically, I sized the shelf down so all the slots are in the wrong spot. And if I want to put stuff on this shelf, I have to like do some sneaky tricks to make them look like they're actually there. When I think of fall, I think of baking. So I want to give them the stand mixer. I almost forgot to give them a kitchen sink. Oh my God, <laughs> that would have been really bad. Okay, I got one, it's fine. And we shouldn't put too much clutter because it does need to still be functional. Like they need to have a counter so they can actually cook. But I'm liking how this is turning out so far. What if I put pumpkins on this little table? I just love this time of year. I am genuinely having like so much fun with this right now. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment all year and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I've been dying for this. Look at how cute that looks with the little fall stuff on that painting. I did have to scoot this window over, but I don't really care because you aren't going to see the house from that side very often. Maybe I can use this wallpaper in this bedroom downstairs. It's kind of a lot, but I think in a good way. I always avoid wallpaper because I never know what I want it to be like. You can probably tell that I've been actively avoiding painting all the walls for a while. I just get so indecisive about wallpaper and I know that I want it to be like kind of a cozy warm color, maybe a dark color. To be honest, this dark blue color is actually really good. Maybe that's what we want. Maybe we could do some warmer like reddish orangish colors upstairs. I'll get to that. Do you think chickens have autumn vibes? Maybe? I don't know. Do you understand what I mean when I say this house kind of makes me want to light a candle? I feel like I should turn on Gilmore Girls or something while I'm working on this. This bathroom is disgusting. I'm so sorry. This is like genuinely really weird. I do feel kind of committed to just going all out with this weird shape. I usually go to great lengths to avoid making bathrooms weird shapes like this. So there's something kind of fun about embracing the weirdness of this room. It's kind of nice. We've got everything you could possibly want in here. <laughs> it is it is the weirdest shape bathroom I have ever ever made, but that's okay. I am of the opinion that sometimes weird is good and I like it. My vision for this room down here is a library. I love the idea of like a cozy reading nook room. I know I already put a desk in the other room. Like I don't really need to have an office down here, but I still love the concept of a library. Oh my gosh, I should put a games table outside. You could play board games. That would be so cute. I'm gonna put it back here. We still have a lot to furnish and fill up outside. I completely forgot about cat stuff. That was like the whole inspiration here. Okay, I'll put a cat tree in here and then we need to find space for a litter box. Um, actually the litter will probably fit really nicely right there. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, don't worry. Well, here's what I've got in this library so far. I've got a bunch of chairs. It's basically a second living room. So that's the whole downstairs done. The last thing we have to do inside is just the bedroom. The bedroom's kind of huge. So I kind of want to close off part of it and make it into a small closet space. Cause then we have a more reasonably sized bedroom out here. I'm looking for an orange bed, <laughs> something orange and kind of autumnal. Ew, oh my God, I hate that. Wait, the purple's kind of cool. That's like the same color as my nail polish. No, I hate it. I hate it. I can't. I just, I've never liked that bed. I can't do it. That could work. That might be the vibes. I think I'll stick a piano up here. I like the idea of having a piano because I don't really usually place those in my builds. It's kind of a tight fit, but that's okay because it's cute. This might be excessive, but I'm putting some more fall decor upstairs too. <laughs> I put some pumpkins in the bedroom and I think I'll put another cat tree up here as well because the cat deserves the world. And that can be the whole interior finished. Okay, let's think about the outside for a second. I think I'll do the same thing and try and get a whole bunch of orange and yellowy colored flowers everywhere out here. Ew, so many of the flowers look really weird in the fall. I know they're all starting to die and that's like the whole point, but it really does look strange.
strange. What if I put a big tree there? I like how it adds some more fall colors. Oh, I totally forgot the mailbox even comes in fall colors. Look, and it matches. It's got the right stone. That's so good. Well, that makes things easy. Okay, I think I'll put the trash can kind of over here in the corner. The patio is coming along. We've got some nice decor out here. Oh my gosh, look at the lights above the patio. That's perfect. That is like exactly what I was dreaming in my head. Well, I wasn't originally. <laughs> I didn't really set out to add lights back here, but somehow it's the exact right size for them. So that's fine by me. I think I'm gonna put a grill back here. This looks so weird. I wanna have some sort of outdoor kitchen though, cause I like the idea of having a spot for my pizza oven. I keep doing this in like all my builds ever since the new pack came out, but I just like it. Maybe I can use those leaves with the candles again for the outdoor table. And then I was sort of picturing a fire pit with some couches around it for this other half. Or maybe instead of a couch, we could just do a bench. Cause that's kind of realistic, I think. And that's nice. Your Sims can come sit out there and they can roast some marshmallows. I'll add some extra things like some pumpkins. There's even a pumpkin carving station. What if we put a couple of those on the gazebo? <laughs> instead of putting like a table or something, we just put pumpkin carving. They can have a ceiling fan too. Oh, these people are living my dream. I would love to have a house like this. I would love to live in a place that has seasons like this. Thank you for allowing me to do this today because I like really, really needed this. This is exactly what I wanted today. All of a sudden it feels like October and all I had to do was make an orange house in my Sims game. Well there, I think the place could be done. Let me show you around really quickly. So when you first walk up, obviously this is the exterior. We've got a little walkway that leads you to the front porch. On the porch, I put a little bench. I have a game table back outside. So your Sims can do like puzzles or don't wake the llama, any of those board games they can play here. The back patio has got a dining table. There's a grill and a pizza oven. We also have a fire pit. And there's like some little pumpkin carving stations over here on the gazebo. And then when you actually come inside, it's very small. So we've got a little living room space. There's not a TV, but there is a fireplace. <laughs> so you can sit here and watch the fire. You can eat dinner. We've got a little kitchen, some cat decor. There's a small office nook, the cat bowl. In here, there's like a library space. So you can sit and read again and a downstairs bathroom. Upstairs, we got that really weird bathroom, <laughs> which is super long and skinny, but it does have laundry. We've got a bedroom with some more cat stuff and a piano and a closet, which I don't usually add into my builds. And that's the whole place. So you could totally, if you wanted to renovate this to have like an extra bedroom downstairs instead of a second living room. But I like this how it is. This fits the vibes in my head. I'm gonna upload it to the gallery called Cozy Autumn Cottage. The vibes of that gallery photo with the trees turning colors. This is perfect. Just what I wanted. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> well, on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and stay tuned because I'm probably gonna build some more like Halloween themed stuff this month because I'm just excited. I'm thinking fall houses. I'm thinking witchy realm of magic houses. I'm thinking like scary haunted houses, <laughs> vampire houses. We, we're going to do it all. If you want to see more of the kittens, I post them on my Instagram story like constantly, literally every day. It's the only thing I post on Instagram because I don't get out much. So I don't post myself on there, but I do post the cats. So make sure you follow me there. My name is just Lil Simsy and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. Oh, you know what else? Sorry for the constant plugs, but follow me on Twitch too. I do a lot of building on Twitch, so I think you'd enjoy it.